The driver of this car, Sylvester Hayes, is suing the Dallas Police Department after officers Walter Guab and Holly Harris stopped him for not signaling at a stop sign. Come on, step up with me. I'll explain to you. I know. Step out. I'll explain everything. No, sir. Tell me why. I'll explain everything. I know. I'm trying to get up out the car. I didn't give you permission to. I'm going to tell you another thing. Right now, you are being detained. Come on and step out. You're going to get tased. Come on and step out. Come on and step out, bro. Come on and step out. Come on and step out. Come on and step out. Bro. Step out. What are y'all? Man, hello. Hello, bro. Yeah, come on, come on, y'all, come on, me for what? I didn't give y'all permission. Bro, this is my Hayes is then ripped out of the car by Officer Guab, and another officer, as they notice, Hayes has his legally owned and registered firearm on him. More importantly, this entire interaction was predicated on Officer Harris thinking Hayes was a wanted DV suspect without running his license to confirm his identity before trying to physically detain him. Stop! Hey, hey, hey. Stop resisting! Stop resisting! Stop! Resist. Stop. Resist. Stop. 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 You got your foot on my neck! Boom! Boom! Y'all got your foot on my neck, bro! Boom! What the f*** y'all doing, yeah, yeah, bro? Y'all my friends, bro! Y'all hurting me! Y'all hurting me, man! Y'all hurting me! Y'all hurting me! Y'all hurting me! At this point, Hayes still has no idea why he's being arrested and brutalized, as at least three officers shove and pin him on the ground. Help! Help! They f hurting me! They hurting me! Bro, no, 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 we then see Hayes getting his head shoved into the side of the squad car as the officers try to force him in it, eventually resorting to cruelly restraining his legs with a zip tie after taking him to the ground for a second time. Oh, you're getting this because you're acting this way. This is 100% and I'm not your... One of the officers then says the N-word, and you could see the officer on the bottom left-hand side of the screen laughing after his co-worker used a racial slur on the job. Officer Harris then realizes her mistake after doing her job and running Hayes' ID, discovering that the Sylvester Hayes they were looking for spelled his name with a Y instead of an I in yet another case of a police officer's mistake ruining a regular person's life. That's my weapon is in my name. Bro, I got doing this for no reason, man. Sir. I got, bro, I gotta go get something to eat for my kids, bro. Okay. I gotta go get something to eat for my kids and that's how they do me? I don't know if it's because my skin is... And that, that, it has nothing to do with the skin. But, but look how they held me, sir. I didn't do anything to well, there was me. a gun, right? But I, I wasn't pulling. I told him I had a weapon. I told him this. Okay. I told him this. This is my name. Okay. If they run it, it's going to say Sylvester Hayes. Okay. Mr. Hayes. So, and I, I don't know all the story, but there is a another Sylvester Hayes, right? So, g give me a second, right? And and that Sylvester Hayes does have a warrant. Then maybe that's, okay. I'm the third, man. This is why we always say the cops should be held to a much higher standard than they are. It's their sole responsibility to correctly identify suspects and the public shouldn't have to pay for their mistakes and misconduct like Hayes here. Saying how they roughing me up, how they handling me like this, like I'm some, 
I didn't come at them disrespectful. I didn't like, hey, you bitch, the fool. Yeah, because we pulled up and everybody was fighting and we just want to just, just end it right Exactly. There. It was because of them. I didn't say anything, man. I, didn't, I was complying. Okay. If they had their radio on, I was complying, man. If they had their camera on, I was complying. Like, come on, man. Like, this, it shouldn't even have to be out of this, man. Lester ended up being like the third or something like that. But as soon as I saw the Lester Hayes, I was like, okay, this will get him out. Well, we <laughs> this is the exact opposite of how policing should work. Just going off someone's name as grounds to start an investigation before running their ID and confirming their identity is only going to erode the public's trust in the police further than it already has been. Hayes' suit against the city and multiple officers cites he was kicked, punched, and even tasered after being thrown to the ground, and he also had his arm ripped out of its socket. Hayes spent a few days in jail after his arrest and was hit with the typical resisting arrest charge that we see in all of these cases, as well as an unlawful possession of a firearm charge, despite the serial number coming back clean. Both charges were dropped a whole year later, but that didn't prevent Hayes from losing his job as a security guard. Hayes is suing a total of 10 Dallas police officers in addition to the city, including the sergeant who spoke with Officer Guab and Officer Harris and cleared Hayes to be taken to jail. Hayes is claiming that he was racially profiled while driving to get breakfast for his children. The days spent in jail and an arrest on his record led to Hayes losing his job as well as allegedly preventing him from working other security jobs in the future, destroying Hayes' ability to provide for his family for an arrest that wasn't even his fault. The timetable for Hayes' suit remains unclear, but we'll provide any updates as they transpire.